All right, what is in the box? Well, today we've got the Panini Donruss Basketball Blaster Box. Chet Holmgren, the cover athlete, young stud for the Oklahoma City Thunder. I has yet to play a game this year, um, but his ceiling is sky high. I can't wait to see him play next year. I, I think he's going to be next big thing in the league. Um, he says you can look for autographs in the signature series, so hopefully I can get that 90 cards to go through. There is your potentials. If you want to screenshot that, by all means, feel free. And uh, let's go ahead and rip and dip. That's a little bit beat up, so maybe I'll get something good. We'll just set a target. That's pretty thick, so let's take a look and see what's on the inside there. All right, pack number one. We have our first pack, and this is going to be... A Jaden McDaniels of Minnesota. I will show you the back of one of these cards just to cover our base. All right, base card there. Jaden McDaniels. All right. Just flipping here. We've got a more base cards. If there's anything, I won't really discuss them unless it's a significant card. We've got a Bobby Portis. A Evan Fournier. Uh, Jimmy Butler. Gary Trent Jr. Hey, dating myself here. I remember when his dad was a uh, number one overall pick. Milwaukee coming out of Purdue. Okay. Kyle Kuzma. The Harrison Barnes. Okay, Andre Drummond, as you can see below. Brooklyn, out with the Bulls. He's got his Bulls jersey there. I have a Jaron Jackson Jr. Jay Crowder, now with the Bucks. I like these Spurs uh, City Edition jerseys, Devin Vassell. Like this one turned around backwards, so that's usually a telltale sign of something good of Joseph, Joseph Nurse at Nurkic. Nurik, Nurkic, oof. Usually means it's an autograph, so hopefully we got it here. This will unstick. All right, no, but it's uh, definitely a hit. It is a green. A gold parallel. It's definitely a good card. Oh, Joseph Nurkic. All right, cool. Lamelo Ball and a rated rookie of Andrew Nembhard. Jabari Smith, rated rookie, number three overall pick in this year's draft. Not quite getting it going yet, but it is a marathon, not a sprint. So that is packet number one of the set. The one so far, one hit in there. That's nice. Very, very nice. Get a pack two. And this pack two will... All right, pack two. We've got our Victor Oladipo. We've got a DeMar DeRozan. All right, Journey Redemption Tour of Will Barton. Killian Hayes. But a Al Horford back in Boston. A brief dip in Philadelphia, which was a disaster. Saw that coming a mile away. Justin Holiday. CJ McCollum. For a decade since he led Lee Hyde at an improbable 15 2 win over Duke. 15 2s are not as improbable as they used to be now, but then it was James Wiseman who was given to Detroit. That was a fucking horrible trade for the, the, for the Warriors. I'm not still not figuring out why they gave up on Wiseman that much. Maybe there's something they know we don't. Davian Mitchell. About a Monte Morris. Uh, Dylan Brooks. Part of one of the funniest trades that didn't happen in NBA history. Actually led to the Suns getting, ultimately getting Chris Paul because they wound up getting Kelly, uh, wound up getting Kelly Oubre. But they wound up trading with Memphis. They were thought they were getting Dylan Brooks. Turned out they were getting Marshawn Brooks. The Suns have made some enough dumbass moves over the years, but that wound up paying off dividends because I said they get Kelly Oubre, who played well enough for them. Actually wound up reviving the uh, locker room, and then they traded him for Chris Paul. 
complete players. LeBron James, I'd say he's a complete player. Rated rookie of Keegan Murray. He's had a nice, nice rookie year for the Kings. On the playoff hunt, believe it or not. That got that move got really just hammered by the media. But I don't judge a book by its cover. Nikola Djokovic. Jovic. And that's pack two. Rolling on one on this one. What a decent, decent little pack. Yeah, I remember I fucking Kings got crucified for picking him instead of instead of Jaden Ivy. Ivy's been good, but you know. It wound up working out for Sacramento. All right, Toby, Tobias Harris, Philadelphia. We got a friend, Franz Wagner, Wagner, SGA, Oklahoma City. I don't know why. It seems like he just gets chronically overlooked like when it comes to talking about one of the better young players in the league, and all he does is produce. Takanaten. All right, we got a Cam Reddish. He's been traded. I don't remember exactly where. So much moving. I know he's not with the Knicks anymore. Kyle Lowry. I thought it was going to be a stud in the NBA. It hasn't quite been that. I'm not talking about Lowry. I'm talking about Cam Reddish. Jakob Podol. Got a Anthony Davis. Danilo Gallinari. Got a Spencer Dinwiddie back in Brooklyn now. Part of that Kyrie Irving deal. Got a Josh Giddy. Some turn backwards of Cole Alexander. So that's either a Gonna be an autograph or one of those fancy cards, and there's one of those fancy. All right, cool. Another one of those uh, rainbow uh, parallels. Very nice. Franchise features of Cade Cunningham, Barry Walker. Uh, Walker Kessler is having a very nice rookie year. Those sucky ass, shitty jazz jerseys. Completely. You know, a little bit. I understand, you know, too much is too much, but those are just a shit. And then it's, which explains Salt Lake City to a whole for shit. And so I can say that I actually lived there. I was talking to somebody online, and uh, apparently Ryan Odom is about to leave Utah State for South Florida. And big argument, why, why? Is that a really an upgrade? Well, let's see. Tampa, Florida, or Salt Lake City, Utah, or Logan, Utah in this case. Salt Lake City, Logan, Utah, hmm, tough choice. Somebody says to me, have you ever actually been to Logan, Utah? Yeah, plenty of times. When I worked at Fox 13 in Salt Lake. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I've been to both. Give me Tampa. Zach Levine. Corey Kispert. Can't say Salt Lake was atrocious, but I mean, I would rather take Tampa, believe me. If you've ever been to Utah, you, it's, Utah is one of them places you either love it or you don't. That's just it. I've seen people that have fell in love with it. I've seen people that couldn't wait to get the hell out. I was one of the latter. James Harden. It's definitely not for everybody. I'll just put it that way. Zaire Williams. Brandon Clark. Uh, we got a Malik Monk. Joe Ingles, Bucks. John Morant, he needs to grow the fuck up. Definitely needs to grow up. I've got another one of these uh, backwards cards, so it's either autographed or it's uh, rainbow foil. Okay, they stick together. Bomb squad there of John Morant. Not necessarily the best card. Okay, another rainbow foil there of Devontae Graham. Cool. Bomb squad. Yeah, that's probably not the best card there for <laughs> that with what he's going through. Ryan Rollins. We've got a rated rookie, Atari Eason. Tell you what, man, an uh, interesting story about him in college, how uh, John Brandon wanted a shit, just had a shit run at Cincinnati. And Atari Eason was an example of that. Corey Kispert. It's pretty bad when you get fired. I mean, I guess it's not as uncommon anymore in two years, but when your entire team just despises you, You've done fucked up. He just, I mean, yeah, this whole team despising within two years. Not good. Robert Williams. And we got our Deontay Dejount, Murray. I think I went through all these already. Yep, James Harden. All right. And yeah, John Brandon just absolutely had his entire fucking team despising him within two years in Cincinnati and uh, forced out the door. Hard to believe Mick Cronin's been, Mick Cronin's been going there four years already. They've been through two coaches. Wes Miller seems to be doing an okay job. Yeah, Mick, that was one of them coaching hires people shit on when they made it at UCLA. But, uh, he's turned out to be an okay coach. 
Just got to quit making excuses when they lose. Uh, that, that shit sucks, man. That's just... can't stand that. If you lose, we're blaming the refs. That's Bush League. All right, here we go. Um, we got a Jalen Brunson. Nice signing for the Knicks, man. Real good signing. We got a Bam Adebayo. A sweet 16. What a tournament Miami's having, man. And talking the city of Miami, you got... Florida Atlantic in the Elite Eight. Miami possibly could clinch a spot tonight. Got a real good chance of beating Houston. Lonzo Ball. We got a uh, Jordan Clarkson. Let's see, we have a Joshua Primo. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, less I say about that card, the better. Uh, we got a Grayson Allen. What a piece of shit he is. Zealand Noel. So it's going to be one of these Rambo cards, probably. Yep. What the fuck is that? Why is that turned around for? All right. Cool, I guess. Uh, we got a Sadiq Bay. A LeBron. A Trey Murphy, you finished runner-up in the dunk contest of Mac McClung. I think he's still with the Sixers. I think he's been cut since then. I don't know. We're sent back to Delaware. Luka Doncic. Kendall Braun, I hope this is actually something and not one of those turned around backwards for no fucking reason. Okay. Rated rookie. Sweet. All right. RJ Barrett. Franchise features. And that, who the fuck is that? Trevor Keels. All right. <laughs> Sorry if you're watching this, Trevor. No disrespect. Jalen Williams. All right. Cool. All right. We're down to our final few packs here and there's actually last pack in this box thanks for tuning in after this i got shit to do there's only time to watch the damn taxi game tonight let's play xavier i like to go to the elite eight hopefully our brass and crystal conti gets his shit together and removes the interim tag i don't give a fuck how he did you know i don't give a fuck what he did at fresno state and utep huh? you know he's done well at texas he deserves a shot really hachimura don't have the same resources that Texas has. Isaiah Stewart. Got a Jalen Brown. Um, John Collins. Almost bought up his son. It was damn close and they fucking gave up uh, everything in their mother for Kevin Durant. Well, I'm a big KD fan. I'm a University of Texas fan. And I like the son, so I think the nostalgic part of me was happy. But damn, they gave up a lot for a 35-year-old man. Kristaps. Uh, Kate Cunningham, I ain't gonna get an autograph this one. All right, let's see. Lawrence, Lynn's Dorf. Never say his fucking name right. Gary Payton the third. Old enough to remember when his old man was good. I got another fucking primo card. I'm gonna throw it out the window. Okay, Josh Richardson. Uh, Luke Kennard. I know this sucks. I ain't gonna get no fucking autograph. Oh well. Reggie Bullock. Maybe I will. If I get a Scotty Barnes autograph, that ain't gonna suck. Um, nope. One of these fucking parallel ones again. There are these, these color cards. Rainbow foil. All right, cool. Expectations. Great expectations. AJ Griffin. Oh, boy. Okay, cool. Jaden Hardy. And Dyson Daniels. All right. That's a... Louis Hachimura just got traded to the Lakers. All right, I think that's it. Yep. All right, that, that wraps that up. All right, well, I want you those rainbow foils and um, a couple of uh, decent cards in there. Got a, got a Joshua Primo. I think I'm going to, when I go to the fucking Buffalo Wild Wings to watch a game, I think I'm going to fucking throw that piece of shit card in the oncoming traffic. But uh, there you have it, man. Not throw it in oncoming traffic because I don't want to cause an accident with everybody trying to swerve the miss hitting the son of a bitch. Well, there you have it. I'll talk to you soon.